Hello everybody, welcome back, it's Belinda here. We are going to dive back into the All Things Roses journal. It's been been a while. Um, I have been in and out of it just, you know, off camera, doing little bits here and there. Um, I discovered I had more than enough pockets and such like to put in it, but I am running really, really short on the tags and journal cards. So I have done bits and pieces. I also made a journal topper over on Patreon. So this is the journal topper and it's a removable one with some writing space on the back just for a bit of fun. And it's got this lovely glossy butterfly uh, little cluster. So that is what's going to be tied around it. Excuse me, I've got a, a few burps happening. I've just not finished lunch not long finished lunch right so I have tucked you know a few bits here and there this little bundle of papers in the front pocket and that was a Roxy Creations project and it's got some um, embossed tracing paper on the top there uh, I've gone through and put lace on the edges of some of the pages and I've glued in all the various pockets and such like. I've, you know, tucked, tucked what I've got or a few things in here and there. A lot of these are Roxy Creations projects like this one. Uh, it's a little booklet with some scrap papers and bits and pieces in there. And a couple of... Oh, okay. I had forgotten there were pockets in here. So I need to fill those pockets. Well, I don't have to. I could leave them for the owner of the journal to fill, but remind me that there's pockets there, so I could, I could pop something in those. I'm glad I opened that because I had completely forgotten. Um, yeah, so some of this you would have seen. Some would be new, like this fabric flip. I just whipped that up this morning. I used completely different fabrics to what I've used on the cover. Um, I just yeah, just wanted to go with some of the smaller pieces that I had and they all feature either roses or florals. So just super pretty. Um, I used mostly pink and yellow lace on the edge of the pages. Uh, I've got belly band in there. So lots of places that I need to put things. And then I put some blue lace on the edge of these book page ones. So there and on the opposite side. Well, we'll get to it. So I'm, as I'm flicking through this, I'm refreshing myself on kind of where we're at with this. This page is completed. Like, we don't need to add anything else to that. Um, and there's the other blue lace there. And we flip out. And those, that page on both sides is good to go as well. It's all done. Pockets are filled in that. Um, this piece, I think I grab this out after the last video so we've got a big pocket to fill in behind that got a pocket here and a little tuck here to fill and then a lot of these <coughs> excuse me a lot of these I have left with space to tuck a journal card so envisage filling all those this is going to be quite a chunky little beast uh, a very beautiful chunky little beast then I did that, I believe, on the last video. Yeah, another pocket in behind there. And then the end, and we did that. I uh, tucked that in there on the last video. The little paper bag with the booklet inside. So, let's just go back to the start. And find the first pocket, which this is actually a tuck spot. So we've got something in the pocket itself. Got a little journal card there, but we need something to go in behind it. So let's start making some ephemera. I have my envelope of fussy cuts from the All Things Roses kit. Uh, I have not yet mentioned this video. The kit is from the Junk Journal Studio. That's what we're working with. So I have, <clears throat> please excuse me, I'm very froggy. I think it's the soup I had for lunch just sitting in the back of my throat. So I've just got a few bits and pieces here that we might use. This lovely book page illustration of roses. 
some papers from the kit some plain paper and this masterboard which is where I was heading I made this masterboard specifically for this journal and for my dance journal which I haven't started on yet I thought let's do one at a time let's do the rose one um, and looking at this now I'm like does it actually really match but we're going to go with it anyway we're going to introduce some purple so let's think about how big we need this to be so it's going to be too tall I'm going to cut it down a bit I'm going to just flip it over and mark on the back so let's go there approximately and there I will back this because my marker pen that I used on the front bled through. So I will be backing it with something. don't know if I'll back it on camera or whether I'll just do that off camera. We'll see. It's kind of nice to finish it up completely, isn't it? Instead of still having a job to do. But yeah, we'll just see how it goes. So this is really me just kind of figuring things out and filling gaps as we go. So hopefully that's all good with you guys. So this is from April. The Ma April Masterboard, Monthly Masterboard Challenge is where I made this masterboard. All sort of mixed media -y and fun. Yeah, I actually don't mind the colours. Like it has got the teal, the pink, and some greenish colours. Yes, it's got purple, but I can live with the purple. I think it's pretty and it just adds a little splash of something different. Right, I am going to cover the back. I've decided. Oh, yes, I have. And I have a scrap of, this is pastel art paper which I just happened to have out for another project this morning. And I've got this scrap of it. So why not use that? Because it's, it's a beautiful creamy colour. And I think will go nicely with the journal. Um, so let's do... So much glue stuck around the edge of the glue stick. Didn't want to release the cap. Right. Smushy smush. Let's get some glue down. It's a little bit textured with all the different layers on the other side, so I'm making sure I get into the crevices because I can see where it, it's not going in um, in the light. So I'm just may look like I'm working over some spots pretty thoroughly, and it's just because I can tell it's not getting down in into the gaps so nice good amount there and then just going to run around with the tacky glue without getting my sleeve hopefully in the glue so friday hey or at least in in my area of the world it's friday some of you might be still in thursday as you're watching but here we're knocking on the weekend so how's your week been my friends? Hope it's been a great one for you. Mine has been super busy. Um, yeah, <laughs> not more than I can say. It's just been super busy. Uh, with some nice things and just some required things. Oh gosh, the wind's picked up outside. Just making some noises on our deck. It's like I did not know it was going to get windy this afternoon. Um, actually, I might just trim that with the scissors rather than use the guillotine. Um, it's a really lovely, warm, sunny day outside. And I've got the fire just ticking gently over. Because it's you know it still gets cold inside. And the nights are still cold, so that cools the house down so we still need the fire going even though it is lovely outside 
that wind is really going to town. So if you hear any random noises, it will be the wind. Right. I do think I want to round the corners. I'm going to tempt fate and do it even though the glue is wet. It's quite thick to punch through because this um, masterboard was done on, what was that, 100 and, oh gosh it's hard work, 100 and something, 160, 180 GSM art paper. And then I've put the, oh, well that didn't, that didn't look very nice. It didn't round it, it took a, just took a chunk out. Let's try that again. Um, the pastel art paper on the back of it. So, mm, I do not know what happened there. It just doesn't want to round it, just took a chunk. Maybe it's that glue messing things up. Should have waited, but didn't. Here we go. It's actually just the back layer that didn't punch properly. Okay, let's ink around it, because you know I like to ink. Unless you're new here, and then you wouldn't have known, but now you do. Oops, a little bit of lift up there. I haven't quite got the napkin. Down on the edge. Just a little bit of repair going on here. This has been floating around my desk for a good, what, month and a half, I guess. Being shoved to and fro, so... It's no wonder that it's got a little issue here and there. But it's all good. Nothing that an extra bit of glue or, you know, if things really went alright, just another bit of paper glued on top. That'll fix it up. Good as gold. But we're all good. Just an extra bit of glue and we're fine. And some ink. Ink always covers a multitude of things. So yes, I'm recording Thursday of course, as normal I do record a day ahead, so Friday I'm going to be out all day, be with my mum and then later on in the day I'll be picking up my mother-in-law from her cancer treatment and, we, and then we'll head back to hubby's work and pick him up from work and then we'll head up to my in-law's place to take my mother-in-law home and so it's going to be a very, very long day. I'm kind of tired thinking about it. Okay, I do need to distress the back as well. I'm just trying to... I was tempted to leave it and do it later, but it's like, no, I, I need to finish it so I can move on and feel like I'm making progress. Not that I've still got a bunch of things I have to go remember to go back to. So bear with me as I do this task. Like any job, there are aspects of jobs that, even if it's a job you love, that you're not that fond of. And while I love the effect of distressing, I don't always enjoy the process of doing it. It can feel very repetitive and, you know, it's just like, are we done yet? Um, especially on a bigger piece. But it is worth doing. And it's worth doing it in bits like that rather than doing a whole stack because that is boring. When you do multiple multiple pieces all at once, that gets incredibly boring. I am considering... Oh, just got to move some stuff here so I can get to what I need. On the floor that goes. Please excuse my squeaky chair as well. I'm thinking about adding some doily. Bigger, slightly bigger one or the little baby one. 
let's grab out one of each so we can have a play and see which one would work better. I need to reprint my doilies, my freebie from the Junk Journal Studio. Um, it's still available as a freebie, but you would have to go find the link. I'll try and remember to link it in the description box so you don't have to hunt for it. Um, but Because it's from last year. But I th do believe I'm out of the doilies, the printable doilies. So I need to print some more off for my own use because I love using them. They are so pretty. And you don't have all the little cutouts to worry about, which is quite handy. Don't want to use both. I'm going to go crazy. Shall we go crazy? Let's go crazy. Let's just use them both. So I'm just going to eyeball kind of it doesn't really matter just eyeball about there and I could use that bit or I could use this bit which is a bit bigger and I think I'll cut that one down there I think I'll use the bigger bit little squarish bit left over from manufacturing I think it's about to flip it around the other way it's like no that wouldn't work so they're two different colors this is quite white this is more creamy but I don't mind I do not mind that I might like to distress the edge let's do it just being very, very gentle. I have no idea how much we're actually going to get through. Probably not that much. There's a whole heap of ephemera that needs to happen. And I might have to do some of it off camera. We shall see how things go. Some of this will be hidden under the other doily, but that's okay. Don't know precisely which bits, so I'm just going to do it all. Okay. And I don't want to do that bit. So I'm going to glue it on, then I will trim the corner. All right, tacky glue for this. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to Saturday and what has become quite a low-key day for us because we're just, we're just so exhausted by the time we get to Saturday that we just are up to not much at all. <laughs> we might do a few things around the house, like if there's washing that needs doing, we might do that or, you know, if the bench is so cluttered with dishes uh, that you can't move, then we might, like, empty the dishwasher and refill it and turn that on and of course we have to do meals hopefully we've got leftovers of some description that we can just chuck in the microwave uh, rather than having to cook it's become a real down day in terms of just not doing anything extraneous or anything energetic it's a real low-key conserving sleeping watching tv day it's just the days are full on and the emotions you know we continue to ride emotions up and down with various issues going on in the family which you'll know of if you're a regular here um, and it just takes it out of you and then hubby's work has been really really busy this month they've had huge numbers of orders to process and down 
uh, one of their full-time staff members uh, with some health issues. Uh, so they've just been really under pressure and hubby is a hard worker. So it just takes the stuffing out of him. But we've had some fun things. We had a community dinner last night, which was fun. That kept me on my feet and running to and fro. And I did had my hands in the sink full of hot water and dirty dishes for most of the community dinner because we had soup and garlic bread for main course. And then there was crumble and ice cream for dessert. The problem being that all the bowls and spoons had to be washed in between the two courses. So there was a bit of pressure on there and so we had to be really snappy about collecting up plates and getting them ready to go back out again. So as soon as they were all done, then I was switched over the side of the kitchen and I was dishing out the soup. <laughs> and then it was back into washing the bowls and things as the whole, uh, well, others did cuppers and, you know, it's a, a team. It's team effort. I make it sound like I did everything, but no, I did not. Nowhere near did everything. I just did my part, what I could see to do. And a couple of the regulars who help were away. And so um, the other lady who runs it was, you know, feeling quite pressured because most of the weight was falling on her shoulders. And I, I really wanted to step up and, you know, make sure she wasn't so stressed. And so if I saw something that needed doing, I did it. And it felt good. It felt really good to just be able to ease that burden a little bit. I mean, she enjoys it too, but there's no two ways around it. It's a lot of work. And if there's just one main person trying to do it all, it's, um, yeah, it's not easy. But it was fun. So I really enjoyed that. It was busy and my hands are feeling gross after being in the water for so long. And it was really hot water because it comes off the system that boils the water for cuppers. is the same one that you fill the sink with. So it came, like the water came out boiling. So you have to be really careful that you added cold water. Right. So far, so good. The glue marks will disappear, mostly. The odd one might be visible still, but by and large, they will disappear when the glue dries. Right, I'm trying to decide whether I actually want this direction, this direction, this, or this. Does not matter. In essence, it does not matter. I'm just considering that it is in the pocket vertically. So do I want to do a vertical journal card? Let's look at the fussy cuts and see what we want to put on it. We have got this illustration, but I don't think I want to use that on this. Let's tip out our packet of goodies here, all from All Things Roses. It's a nice big rose. It's quite pretty. Or we could use one of the um, like postcards or journal cards if there's a vertical one like this lovely, covers too much, okay, no, don't put that back, I might, I might be using that, um, no, the yellow isn't going, covers too much again, no, Doing some auditioning. Mm, it's okay. I think I still prefer the rose. It's horizontal. Just flicking through looking for the larger pieces. Can you hear that wind? I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it's quite noisy. And just 
gusting every now and then it makes the clear light on the deck wobble mm. no well that's a cuter piece cute they're all cute but i mean smaller is what i meant What if we did a combo? Here's another larger rose. Kind of brings in some of those lighter pink tones. Is that a bit weird? I'm trying to trying to decide is it a bit weird or am I better off just like putting a rose and then maybe a label I'm very indecisive today guys I apologize it might not be the most riveting Oh, actually, I don't mind that. Put the stem in behind, maybe. And the leaves over top. I like that. Okay. Let's distress these up. I am filming quite late in the day for me, too. It's, it is just after lunch. It's not super late in the day, but I have not done a video this morning. Time just ran away on me, and I had a few tasks I had to do. Plus, did a load of washing and sorted out, the, you know, all those things. Because I was out all day yesterday, so I had to do them today. Um, actually, before I do that, I need to distress this. Because I want part of this underneath the label and part over top, so... I can't just glue the one down and then do the other bit. I need to kind of finagle things. So yeah, the day just got away on me. I was just about to sit down and do recording before lunch and realised that I hadn't edited my video for today. And I had like four minutes before it was set to go live. So I didn't quite make it. It went live before I could do all the editing, but... It wasn't too too much longer because of course my computer wasn't on so I had to wait for that to boot up and yeah it was just turn my took away my morning completely by that stage caught me on the hop it did because I just completely forgot I hadn't done it right so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the stem here and slide this about there I think okay now I'm going to put some on the underside of the leaves hopefully I'm in camera here sorry if I'm too far down the screen for you to see so glue that there and a little bit under this leaf glue it onto the label make sure it's sitting flat yep and now I can glue the whole thing without worrying about positioning because they're now attached together. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was a big yawn. It's very hard to talk while you're yawning, have you ever noticed? <laughs> very hard. Right, so put that about there-ish, I think. Oops, I did not. Did I not? glue in there or is it dried I think it's probably because it's dried while I was getting the hole covered in glue but a bit of bit of pressure 
no it's still a bit popping up we'll just go in with some more glue it's all good oops too much glue <gasps> glary fingers rub it off one of the reasons i prefer tacky glue over glue stick is you can rub tacky glue off your fingers and get rid of most of it glue stick no you need to wash it off right okay let's scoot these to the side out of my way a bit so i'm sure we'll be needing them again um thinking about something up here we do have some smaller labels or a tea card the tea cards might be more vertical though cute little window box with birdies no i think it needs to either be a plainer kind of one like this one Yep, I like that one there, so I'm going to put that one there. And I'm thinking about a word inside this, down at the bottom. It sounds like that wind is northwest, which tends to be our strong, gusty wind that we have here, which means it's probably really warm outside, because it tends to be a warm wind. Although at this time of year it could be cold if it's coming off snow. We did have some snow last week down on in the mountains and the uh, high hills. Gosh, we had some freezing temperatures last week. I'm glad this week's been kinder temperature wise. And there's dogs barking down the street as well. You probably can't hear them, but I can hear them all too well. Right, word here. And I am going to go to Spring Bounty for a word, also from the Junk Journal Studio. Because I know the colours are going to work beautifully. Oh, what, is, what about that? Promise. That's lovely. I like that. Look no further. It was an easy choice. So we headed out tonight, um, it was going to be a potluck and I was going to make some savoury muffins, but I don't have to, which is lovely because it takes something off of my have to do list today and I really need that time, so I'm very grateful because um, there were enough leftovers from the community dinner last night that it will feed everyone who will be there tonight, so that is great. So we'll be having pumpkin soup and garlic bread for tea tonight. Same as we had last night. Which is fine. It means I don't have to get in the kitchen and spend, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes prepping and cooking and making something. And then wondering, is it enough? Is it going to turn out? Are they cooked properly? Yeah, you know, all those sorts of things. Okay, that one is done. I'm going to call it done. I did distress the back, didn't I? Yes. Oh, I've gone and got some grubby marks. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, we can fix it. It's just ink. It's distress ink. So I'm just going to make it dirtier. You know, it's on purpose. And then rub some texture sort of grubbing up my finger you know there we go no harm no foul <laughs> it's just a bit of glue or something that got on the back and then it's picked up the ink so it's it's not dirty dirty it is just all part of the crafting okay there we go there's that one done right this one I have a big top pocket 
So we've got a journal card on the side here already. It's not very rosy, like it's got no rose on it, apart from on this front here. Um, I made this in a Trash Craft Tuesday video, I believe. So we've got the card there, but we need a tag for the top. So quite a large or a tall one. I'm wondering, do I want to turn this into a tag? Why not? Let's just do it. So I think I'm going to trim down this edge a little. Fighting for room here. Sure it's straight. And I'm going to fold this in half. I think yeah, half should work nicely. Keep that image on the front. Now do I want to do this into an opening tag or just a normal regular tag? I could have it opening this way and then line it with writing paper. Now how tall? Let's look at tall first. Is it yes it's the right width, yay. That's a good good start. It goes to there, so we probably want about there. Kind of a shame to cover some of this information that talks about roses. Nothing on roses in the middle, and we cut off some of the talk about roses there, but that's okay. It would have been way too tall. I could have trimmed off the bottom, but I th mm, I'm in two minds, guys. I wish you could advise me what you think I should do should I make it a double I look why waste that space let's just make it a double tag so you've got writing space inside and then perhaps we leave this information on the back um, talks about roses at the top talks about rose in terms of heraldry rose apple and the rose beetle I think all of that you know ties in I believe so, paper. Okay, paper bag it is. Let's just open this up. It's not at all straight. That's okay. Just a grocery bag for putting fruit and veg in in the supermarket. Can I get two sides out of this? Well, we're going to have to straighten it up to begin with because it's crooked as a country path. However, crooked that may be. Or maybe it's crookeder than a country path. Right, giving myself a straight edge there to work against. That was the purpose of that. And unfortunately it doesn't fit in my guillotine lengthways. So I'm going to have to just kind of work it out somehow. Maybe put the straight edge of my ruler against the edge of my craft mat. And pray that it's straight. We'll give it a go. Oh, it doesn't want to tear at the top because there's nothing under it at the top. Let's go from the bottom. 
it's not working right okay let's tackle this a different way let's go height so I want to go about there tell you what my brain is taking a while to click on to things these days right now I haven't got a straight edge to tell me that it's straight so um, I'm taking a gamble that it's kind of straight right now I can straighten up the edge because it now fits inside my guillotine which is wonderful and I want to do two panels I'm not going to cover right across I want to just do two panels for writing so we need it to be about three inches so I need two at three inches one seam here so I'm like am I going to end up with the seam it looks like I will that's okay might even come off if it's no it's still attached that's okay we can just put a bit of glue under that to glue it down so let's do that first need a lot of glue just to hold it down there right and I am actually I could glue it the other way so that seam is actually glued down on the inside I'm just going to use tacky glue so it will have a bit of texture it's not going to be perfectly flat it's going to be a little bit bubbly and I think that'll provide quite a nice still sort of crunch as one uses the piece, opens it up, writes on it. Still going to be writable. It's just going to have that little bit of texture and sound to it, which I think could be quite fun. It's not often we think about working sound into our journals, but sound is a valid sensory ex experience. So just flatten it out there, but it's still got, don't know, can you hear that? It's just got a little bit of crunchiness to it. I guess that's where dangles and things like that come in. It's not just tactile and visual, but if like there's a bell on it or some beads that clack against each other or some charms or something, then that's audible. It's a sound that it makes that meets that sensory experience. Hmm, makes me think I should I should work on that more, more work on what sounds I'm putting into the journal. Hmm, it's got me thinking now. Definitely got me thinking. Whoops. Smooshing out some glue. So it does open like the opposite way. Like normally I would have it opening this way. But I think that's fine. Of course I should have shaped it before I did the corners. But that's okay. I'm just going to go there. It just means that writing paper will go right to the edge on the corners not a big issue normally I would do the corners first and then shape the writing paper to match so that it still like had 
so instead of the paper going right to the edge there would be a border the same as the rest of it but anyway not on this piece okay we need to distress it how are we going on time guys oh yeah we're we're using up our time we're chewing up our time but we're making stuff It's a happy place to be making some stuff, filling up this beautiful journal. I'm just in love with this journal. It's going to be quite hard to part with it, I think. But I will, because, you know, I can't keep everything I make. Our house is already exploding, it seems. And I've still got journals that I need to list. Like, I have been so lax about getting that done. And I keep thinking of it lately, but I've got no time at all. Just, it's a very busy season of life right now. So tell me, tell me about your life. Like what season of life are you in? Are you in a cruisy status quo sort of phase of your life? Where, you know, things are just going along as expected. No surprises, just... You know, there's some fun, there's some not fun, but it's just, you know, pretty pretty even, pretty consistent. Or are you in a growth period? Going through lots of growth, whether it's personal or business or whatever it is. Um, or what, any other type of season. Let me know what season you're in. I'm in a crazy season, really. It's... The, probably the best way to describe it is a crazy season crazy with health things going on in family crazy with pet issues crazy with commitments and busyness and yeah just crazy right do I want to add anything I really like how simple that is, like it's quite contrasting to the overall because it's just like this aged paper, sort of beigey, creamy colour with black and white illustrations and text. I kind of like that and a bit of distress ink of course, you know, still got to have our distress ink. Um, I like that it doesn't match, it's not matchy match. But the theme matches. It's not out of place. But should I put a label on it or something? I am going to leave the back with that information on. And somebody could choose to cover it with writing paper if they wanted. There's always that option. But I'm going to leave it as is. Um... Not necessarily this one, but just thinking about what would a tea card. No. That would be the short answer to that, would be no. Um, looking for one of the these wee labels. Do we label? I'm also wondering about numbers, actually. We could put something with a little colour in terms of a number instead. No, that's way too bright, too dominant. No. Oh, upside down. Perhaps not. I think I will do that, just a long number at the bottom. And I'm not going to distress around this because I don't want to dirty up the pink that the, the border is. It's already on coffee dyed paper.
just a little something personalizes it in some way and then otherwise it's just appreciating that beautiful book page with the illustrations okay cool I'm not going to do a topper on it because it is an openable tag so slide that down in there cool that one's done now the time check we don't have very long so we do have these two pockets in this shall we take a quick look at those and see if we can do something for those um, just looking at maybe kit pieces so this is from all things roses it's a little library card okay so what I'm going to do is I'll choose out things and then I'll back them and distress them off camera and but you'll know what's going in there um, that one I think will be a bit wrong shape yeah that one doesn't work where's that other one I had out before this one is that one going to be too small <coughs> oh sorry I've got a tickle in my throat now okay no it's not too small but I think what I'm going to do is this one I'll back onto paper and when I cut it out I'll leave a border around it just to extend the size of it slightly not not a huge amount but yeah just extend it slightly uh, because they will need backing they're very lightweight uh, just on copy paper so I will back those and distress them and they will go in those pockets and that will take care of that piece done and done okay my friends I'm going to leave it there um, because I don't think getting started in, on another piece of ephemera is going to be doable in the next what eight minutes <laughs> you know I can't do that <laughs> not going to happen okay that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're enjoying uh, seeing this rose journal come together. I'm just absolutely in love with it. It's so beautiful. Michelle's kit is amazing. So amazing. If you haven't gone and grabbed this All Things Roses kit yet, I highly recommend it. It's beautiful and usable. You know, if you don't use it as one kit, you can use it to match so many other themes, whether it's nature, botanical, um, spring or summer floral even in boho some of it would fit really nicely in with boho dressed up in that style um, just very very usable kit and fussy cuts that go with it so have a great weekend my friends i will be back hopefully if i can get the video done tomorrow with margaret miller collage assignment until then take care bye for now